So Dirk just came in and asked me if I would explain Sissy Strut for you guys, which I'm glad to do. And, you know, this is Zigaboo's groove, and this is totally his thing. I was very fortunate to see him explain this in 1992 at a Percussive Art Society International Convention, PASIC as we know it, and it was a joint clinic between Johnny Vodakovich and Zigaboo, and thank God for Kerry Brown, a great drummer in New Orleans, who asked this question, and he already knew the answer, but he wanted to see Zig demonstrate this for the room, and so what Zig talked about was seeing a guy named Stanley Ratcliffe, who guys in New Orleans nicknamed Ratty, and Stanley Ratcliffe or Ratty, he would play this beat. And at the time, in the mid-60s, when Zig saw this, it was revolutionary. Nobody else was doing this. We take this kind of stuff for granted now, playing two hands on the hi-hat. But at the time, nobody else was doing this. And Stanley Ratcliffe was playing this in a way that was incredibly funky. And Zig took this and used it as his inspiration to modify Sissy Strut modify this to come up with Sissy Strut. What I'm about to play, you're gonna say that's not Sissy Strut, and you're right. This is the foundation of it. Check it out. Hey, drum nerds out there. I hope you enjoy the summer like I do. This is Dirk, drum trainer founder, and I wanted to let you know that we have a bargain on the yearly drum trainer membership. Instead of 200 euros, it's 50 bucks. It's the summer madness deal and this course with Stanton is on there but also a couple of other great lessons by Stanton but also uh, tutorials by Thomas Lang, Lana Lewis, Bud Seawright, um, Keith Carlock, Jerry Brown, Mark Schulman and a lot of other great great drummers so I hope to see you there link in the bio enjoy your summer cheers from Tyrol Austria bye <laughs> Right? So now, that beat, to me, if you can make that beat feel good, that's going to be your foundation underlying Sissy Strut. And what you got to do is, you know, I talk about this all the time, but taking this, we can call it an exercise for lack of a better word, but start off playing straight and then be able to morph in between straight and swing all the way over to swing to flams and back. And I'll do that to the Ratcliffe beat. I'm gonna start off straight where it's gonna be awful, then I'm gonna get where it should be and I'm gonna nod and you'll know that's where it should be. Then I'm gonna take it past that to swing, two swung, flams, I'm shaking my head like this, then we'll get back to where it should be and I'm gonna end there, check it out. <laughs> that is that this is some real karate kid stuff if you can make that feel good wax on wax off or the new version of karate kid jacket on jacket off if you can make this automatic if you can make that phrasing automatic to where you're automatically phrasing in between straight and swing well then when you try to do sissy strut it's going to come a lot more naturally so that beat is the foundation of Sissy strut. A lot of people thought for years that that sissy strut was played with the right hand, which you could do it that way. You could do it that way, but that's not the way that Zig did it. He did it right, left, right, left, right, left, and I'm going to morph now the Ratcliffe beat into sissy strut.
So hopefully you can see that correlation. And now this Ratcliffe beat, I can morph that into Hey Pocky Way. Just by taking away the two and four, then I'll just be up here on the hi-hat. Then I'll slow it down a little bit. And then I will swing it just a little bit more. And then put it over here on the, hi on the snare drum from the hi-hat. And it will be Hey Pocky Way. If you're playing Sissy Strut all with the right hand, you could do it that way, but you'll see Sissy Strut as a completely unrelated thing to Hey Pocky Way. And to me, if you can see the similarities between things instead of the differences, it's going to help you understand these things on such a deeper level. And again, that's going to take your playing to a deeper place. Hope you all dug that. See you down the line. Hey, beautiful drum nerds all around the world. If you liked that video, please give us some love and click there for a subscription. And if you want to see another cool video, click there and you see another cool video. How cool is that? So I hope to see you around. Stay tuned.